Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial, otherwise known as Bucket Spigot Plugin Tutorials. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below and I will give you a shout out when I get to it. I've got a lot, so keep tune in. It'll happen eventually. But anyway, this week was requested by quite a few people, and actually it's kind of a, a two plugin requests into one. It was going to be uh, custom crates, I, uh, I believe, or aka CSGO crates. Now, the issue was uh, that one, the author abandoned it, but it was requested by Psychotic MC, It's Chaotic, X Ferret, Damian, Dam Damian, BG, MCPV Halo. So I found one that is working that's very similar and it's a premium plugin as well. Costs about the same amount and is requested by Abdu who plays MC. Clayness Legendary plays MC. Whole lot of plays MC in there. And Madness Within. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for requesting it. This is made by Pick and Chew and it is called Crate Keys. It's fantastic. It's really cool. Very customized. Now, I've done a lot of crate key plugins or custom crates or anything like that. This one has advantages and disadvantages over the other ones, but basically, it is a tier based crate key plugin. Allows you to set up multiple crates, have a chance within the crates, has a built in GUI, and is pretty easy to set up. It's got, it's right out of the, right out of the box. It works really great. However, Documentation is kind of not the greatest, so hopefully this helps you guys out with getting started. Now let's get to it. So the permissions, pretty basic, not a whole lot to go over. There's basically two to, to address, and that is crate and crate crate, and that is more of an admin or operator permission, as it allows you to add and remove crates, move them around, all that stuff. Um, there's not really much to do in game, so you can't really give your mods any more access than that. And it works for your default users right out of the box, which is kind of really nice. And so let's go over some commands here. So we have, uh, we can add the crate, and the, the command is create key add crate and then tier whenever the plugin starts talking about a tier it's pretty much the name of the crate i don't think the author is english speaking natively but that's fine so then you can do crate key remove crate and then you right click on the crate and it'll remove it when you're adding the crate you're going to right click on it and so there's a default one in there called hero so we're going to right click on that and add that so side note if you're setting this up for the first time you've started your server and it's running for the first time you need to restart your server or do a slash reload all or slash reload to reload all your plugins otherwise the plugin won't work small thing i found i ran into when i started setting this up also the crate key reload does not really work the author is working on it the author is really responsive so if you run into any issues with this plug and get any errors be sure to comment on the author's page and uh, i'm sure he'll be able to help you out and then you can do crate uh, crate key give player and then hero and then the number so we want to give them two keys so now we have two hero keys so if you don't have a key and you right click on it, you're going to get bounced back and it's going to say, say you need a hero key to open this. Now, if you left click on it, it's going to open and it's going to open a GUI. It's going to show you what kind of prizes you can get if you open this crate, which is really cool. So you can maybe put the chances in there for the number of items or, you know, you put that in the lore of what kind of chance you have for that item, which is really cool. So if you have the key, you're going to right click on it. You have the sound there of the anvil, which you can set up to be anything you want. You can set this key to be anything you want. Uh, by default, it's this unbreaking X diamond and... Um, it's got that nice lore over it, so it looks like I've received a tier one prize. Now, the way that the the default crate is set up, tier two is the lowest, tier one is the next, and then there's not a tier number for the top prizes. But it, it, congratul it says, congratulations on opening a hero chest, and then it has my username, and then it broadcasts to everybody else, and then be sure to steal from him or her if you see them. And then it, it says... 
it does a sudo command and it runs a command as me says I'm really happy with all the diamonds which the prize was 64 diamonds which is really cool now there's a command in the in the documentation that says you can create a tier or create a, a crate in the game but it doesn't work so we are going to go ahead and just remove this crate just so you guys can see what this looks like crate key remove crate and then we're going to right click on it and there we go so now when we open it nothing happens we but we still have the hero key so that doesn't go away so that's all we can really do in the game so let's hop over to the config file and set up our own custom crate and then come back and show you guys how that works so here we are in our configuration file you're gonna go into your plugins folder sorry your server folder and then you're going to go into your plugins folder and you're going to go into the crate key once again reminding you to restart your server after the first time that you've implemented this then you're going to open your config.yml i highly recommend that you use notepad plus plus in order to see all of this correctly at the top here you got your pushback which you can set the true and then you can set the force of that of how far they're going to fly if they try to open a crate that they don't have a key to you could change the the prefix in here which you can also change the prefix per crate which is really cool so depending on what crate they open if it broadcasts a message it'll be a different uh, prefix you can change the the words or the verbiage of anything in here you got a whole lot of references or variables as they're called you got your percent player percent crate keys percent tier tier being the crate name and crate keys i believe is what the prefix is up here yeah so now we get into the crate or the tiers as the plugin uses the, the verbiage here. You have the hero crate, which we went over already, kind of demonstrated that. Here's the key name and then the, the key material, which is that the diamond there with the unbreaking 10, which is kind of nice. And then you can actually turn it on random so they will get more than one item if they win so if you have a very long list of items that they can win they can win between two and five if you enable this and then your GUI this is what's going to be shown if they left click on the crate so that they can see what they might win which is really nice and then we get down into the prize packages now before we really go through that I'm going to copy this down and show you guys how to so in order to, to copy that down we're just going to go all the way from the beginning make sure you get all the way to the, that uh, first spot there you're going to hold shift and then left click down here do control C to copy that all hit return then be sure to do backspaces all the way to the to the beginning you want to make sure that you remove all those tabs because that can mess up your configuration and then you're just new control V and copy it so now we've copied this down so we're going to change this to tutorial and then we're going to change a few of the things in here we're going to call this tut and then the, the key name is going to be tutorial and then I'm not going to really change all of the verbiage here, but we want to change this to 131, which is a traditional key, uh, the traditional key that people use for this. Um, and then you can go through and change all of these, the words in here. So tutorial, create rewards. Uh, I'm not really going to go through and change it all but you can do tutorial chest blah 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 there you go so we've already talked about the gui section this is what is shown when they left click on it you can change all of this stuff in here now you have your prize packages now it's kind of like a number iteration between each prize package so you got one two and three and then going down you have your chance which is a 10 percent chance and then the player message which is sent to the player you have your broadcast message if you have multiple lines to that you're just going to put an enter make sure you do backspace all the way to remove any tabs that might show up color formatting works in here those variables work in here as well that we saw at the top of this this configuration that's broadcast message and then they're going to get at all of these items if they win this prize package so you can have multiple items that they can win with different kinds of enchantments this is how you can give enchanted items with different lores on them which is really cool and then name of them all that stuff and then uh, here's any there's a command section so you can have them run custom hands if you want to give them tokens for other plugins that kind of stuff uh, as you saw in the demonstration it's going to do pseudo player and it's going to run slash me is happy which is that 
Cause for Crisis Happy, and then the inventory section. And I will be completely honest, I'm not entirely certain what this does because you can see that inventory pop up when we did the, the demonstration, but nothing was really in there. I think that something is supposed to be in there. Um, I'm assuming that that's what that is. I think the key for this, the inventory section, is to be able to be sure to put the slots number in there. And then this is going to reference which spot on that line it's going to be. And it's just basically a visual dem, uh, visual display of what the person won rather than it just being right into their inventory. And then the, the second one is your chance. So this is a second prize package, chance of 40%. Commands, this is where rather than running that uh, items, it's just going to run, you know, give. That's great for if you don't really need to do a whole lot of like lore or uh, enchantments or anything like that on there. And then you got another inventory section, then chance 60%. This is the highest one, which is just going to give the player five dirt. And with how this one was set up, tier two is the worst, tier one is the second best, and then the, the normal one. Um, but you can set it up all, however you want. You don't need a lot of the extra stuff that's in here, which is kind of nice. And uh, hopefully that was helpful. Let's hop back in the game, show you guys how this crate works. Okay, so here we are back in the game. Now I realize that I didn't actually change a whole lot with the, the crate name. Um, as far as referencing the tutorial rather than hero crate but i made some changes of that what i needed to so let's go ahead and get this going so create key add create tutorial so there we go we're gonna go ahead and we've created that that tutorial if we left click on it we got create tutorial create rewards now we can do create key uh, give uh, tutorial eight so now we can see that it is that what we set it to be it says tutorial rather than hero key and if we right click on it um, yeah I didn't change all of the references to tutorial to hero but uh, we'll just go ahead and keep right clicking until we get one of them that I did change or not guess I am unlucky but anyway thanks for watching hopefully this this tutorial was helpful unfortunately the documentation is not really there but that's why I made this video so have fun setting it up playing with the, the settings seeing what does what as well as some other stuff uh, changing some of the particles a lot of the stuff that you can configure this highly configurable plugin this is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game God bless I know I was gonna do Sky Wars Reloaded this morning, but the map creation system is awful. Well, it doesn't work. I wouldn't say it's awful. It's pretty cool, but it doesn't work. And uh, the author has abandoned it. So kind of a bummer. It's a really sweet plugin. So be sure to go over and uh, comment on it because it's a really cool plugin. The rest of it works. Um, hopefully, I'll pick that back up. Anyway.